Hi everyone. Remember me? Long time no see. You're probably wondering why I'm crying and it's because I'm just exhausted. It's Monday and um, I have already been in the store to pick up the flyer. I just I wanted to get in there before the tears started flowing because I, I knew they would. I've been crying pretty much for couple days now. You probably think it's ridiculous to put something like this on YouTube, but I wanted so much to do this video because I knew in some way it would help. You know, nothing has happened. It's, you know, I'm just tired. All right. You know, to anyone who doesn't uh, even have a clue what I'm talking about, I have my granddaughter here for for five weeks. I've had her for almost a week now and um, it has gone probably better than any other trip that she's taken here. I usually have her every summer for a few weeks. This is the longest. Five weeks will be the longest I've ever had her and things are going great but I just have a, such a hard time with change in my routine that the life that I've created for myself, my work, my my cave in my home, you know, my darkness, my just just the routine that I have. You guys, you're all part of my routine. Even when I'm not like actively posting on my blog or on Facebook during my regular day, I'm always at the computer. And I mean like always from the moment I get up until I go to bed, that computer is on and you know, I get up to to eat, maybe watch a show or two at night with my mother, but you know, and even then I will go to the computer during commercials. I mean, it's, I know it's obsessive and, but it's like, it's like what keeps me from completely falling apart. And... With Skyla here, obviously, my routine is completely messed up. I mean, I, and I understand that, and I know that, and I expect that to happen. I want it to happen. I certainly don't want her here for five weeks just for her to watch me at a computer. I mean, that's, that's not it. I have tons of plans. It would almost be like say if somebody has to have meds for whatever reason they're diabetic or suffering seizures I mean whatever say somebody's on meds regularly and they have to take them regularly or else things can fall apart that's how I almost feel about my work my blogging um, my routine it's like it's like that's the medicine I need every single day to um, to keep things on track, and if I stray from that, this is what happens. And it doesn't take much to stray a doc a doctor appointment or something that I know in advance that's gonna mess up my normal routine can make me sick for two weeks before it's I you know, I just can't stop dwelling on the fact that oh next. Wednesday or two weeks from Wednesday, I'm gonna have to go to the doctor. You know, it's just it. I mean, it, it it sounds ridiculous, but something that small can throw me off. So you can imagine what a six-year-old for five weeks can do. And then, of course, I want to throw myself into that. So it's like. I plan so many things and I want to do so many things and then I go to bed feeling like we didn't do enough I you know I we didn't go enough places we and then I hurt my knee and I'm I think it's just because of you know my traveling walking in the airports and sitting in the seats at, on the plane and you know just irritated my knee and it just keeps going in and out and it hurts like crazy and and I know I should have it looked at because now it's it's actually hurting all the way up my thigh and it's starting to really bother my back because of the way I walk because of the knee and um, 
so that put a damper in some of our plans and then um, I don't know I don't know what else to say my my family here is not I don't want you know if my family is watching this <laughs> which is not likely a bee I just don't think they get mental illness depression anxiety um, you know those are my two biggies especially the anxiety and um, I just don't it's not that I need for them to do stuff for me it would just be nice if people understood you know we're just we're just not a close family and and when I have Skylar here that that becomes more apparent to me and that you know is also some reason why I feel the way I do the reason she's not with me right now is because she got up real early played cards with my mother this is so much this is how my routine has been going I mean it's actually very nice I'm very lucky that my mother can do what she can do at 92 um, Skylar usually gets up fairly early certainly earlier than me she'll uh, watch TV a little bit on her own and as soon as she knows my mother's up or if my mother's up when she gets up you know she goes over to my mother's side and they watch TV they play cards my mother can make breakfast you know stuff like toasted English muffins or oatmeal or whatever so they eat together and then when I get up I uh, go to my computer have my coffee that hasn't changed and I try to do what I can within an hour get dressed and then um, and then we do whatever you know we want to do that day Skylar and I either go out or you know just just do do whatever some crafts or things like that that I try to have a little bit of time in the afternoon but I don't think I've really had afternoon time on the blog except for maybe once and then it's more crafts or maybe going out doing a couple errands things like that and then uh, whatever we watch on TV, my mother and I are reality TV freaks, and that hasn't really changed, and, and Skylar can get into some of those shows, and so it, that's kind of fun. And then, she's a night owl like me, and uh, we, you know, we'll go to bed or read or watch some TV or just play cards. We'll play, she, she this girl, I mean, she needs to work in a casino or something because she's a card player. And so you know so that that's what it is and um, my uh, my plan is always to work on the blog after she goes to sleep but I'm just so incredibly mentally drained one night she fell asleep like at nine o'clock and I couldn't I couldn't even go to that computer I mean I just it's like I'm completely lost <laughs> and I always worry that if I take a break I won't go back and um, I need to go back because the blog is good for me and it's how I earn my living so I know a lot of you are always telling me to take time off take time off but um, you have to remember as a blogger the days that I don't work I pretty much don't earn money I mean it's with blogging for a deals blog it has to be, you know, constantly updated with the newest coupons, the newest deals, you know, just it has to keep going or or the money doesn't trickle in. So that's always on the back of my mind too. So it's just been uh it's been this kind of week. <laughs> but I don't want anyone to think that I don't enjoy or want Skylar here because I I mean, I obviously do. I would never go through what I go through to get her here if I didn't want her because for me to travel like that, you know, to go get her, come back, I mean, that stuff is very, very hard for me physically and mentally. But I do it because I love her so much. But it's just, it's just hard for me. You guys are gonna think that I'm crazy. <laughs> it's because I am. <laughs> I wonder how the people in the parking lot feel about me. Okay, I have already been in for the flyer. And I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I did want to check. I mean, I wasn't... 
I there were things that I wanted to buy that were on sale this week, but there's just no way. There's no way I can even take the the, the minutes that it takes to print the coupons and figure out the deals. And so I just checked my Reduce Bakery, and I'm going to show you what I got. First, I did pick up some of the meat that was on sale. Skyla loves drumsticks, so I'll be either broiling or baking some drumsticks. And then I got meat that I have no room for in the freezer, so I'm going to have to find a way. I just put, picked up some of the sirloin. Is that what I got? The sirloin pork. I got two packages of that. The chicken was 99 cents a pound, and the pork is 119 a pound. I got lots of the baked goods because, like, again, I would like to freeze some of it, but I don't really have room. Blueberry pie for $3 was the pie. And then this is, it, it looks like one of those rings that I buy, but it's a coffee cake. Appalicious walnut for two fifty. So, it's a coffee cake. And did I say that already? Who knows? <laughs> oh yeah, did I mention she, Skylar's not here because she's napping? She, yeah, she got up early and she fell asleep while I was having my morning coffee. So, I needed, I needed this time with you. Um, one ninety five for... Italian breads, what I call Italian red bread sub rolls, the only roll that makes an official Italian in my mind. A little, I believe this looks like wheat, yep, whole wheat. I paid a 90 cents for that for my mother. Some little cookies for Skylar, brownie cookies, and this was 125 for that. And last but not least, a whoopie pie with a dented cover. You know how dents bother me. I don't like dents. 85 cents for the whoopie pie. Nice cream. The cream is not centered by any means, so that bothers me a little bit. I can use, take a knife and spread it out. Skylar's gonna be thrilled about that because up until, well, uh, last week, she has never had a whoopie pie, never heard of it. I don't have that in the South, and uh, it never dawned on me that when I said, you know, we're going to go out and get a whoopie pie, that she, she thought it was a pie. And, uh, oh my goodness, she absolutely loved it. Now, to me, a whoopie pie has to be the traditional chocolate cake with the white cream. But she picked chocolate with chocolate cream, and it was good. And she loved it. And the other things that she has tried that she absolutely loves is Red Franks, another thing that you can't get in the South. And Moxie. She is a Moxie drinker. I can't believe that she loves Moxie. In the way I can, she says, this tastes like weird medicine. And uh, she was anxious to tell her father that, that she had Maine food. So um, I really hope that I have some fun stories and uplifting videos coming your way see i'm already starting to feel better i got i got that out of my system and uh you know i do want to say that my mother tries very hard um to uh understand depression she really does and, and for a woman of you know at 92 she didn't come up in an era where depression was talked about or even nobody even knew you know people just thought you were whacked and that was it and, uh, you know, but obviously with me, it's taken a lot for me to get her to know that this isn't a character flaw. It is a chemical imbalance, plain and simple. It's, it's not something that my, my life is not what determines how I act or how I feel. It's not, you know, people, oh, you have so much to look forward to. Oh, you have so much to live for. You have so much to be thankful for. You have so much... Yes, I have all those things, but if if there's something wrong in my head, it makes it sometimes impossible to feel any joy with, for any of those things. I know that sounds probably cold and heartless and awful, but I do know what it feels like because I've had times where I've been highly, and in my case I consider extremely over-medicated, where those feelings were around, but all those meds were, were terrible for me in other ways. So I choose to be on just a low dose of Prozac to just get me out of the deepest, darkest moments. And, um, you know, and I, I just deal with what I can. I know I'm not going to hurt myself. I'm not going to uh, 
check out, you know, I, I know that, I know how I feel, I just am very, I don't know how to explain it, I just feel like there's just something completely wrong with my brain, and when I stray from the norm, it, it's like it goes haywire. And I do want to thank you for the private messages and the emails. And um, like I said, you guys are my safe place. You keep me going. I know I have some of you out there that aren't in love with me. That's fine. I don't take things personally. I really don't. You know, I do get some hurtful comments. And what hurts me the most about hurtful comments is that it just makes me so sad that there's people out there who can feel that way or to think that it's okay to tell a complete stranger crappy things. I feel more bad for them than I do for me. Like I said, I know it looks like I take things personally, but I don't. I feel bad for others. I just, you know, I don't know. Okay, let's stop talking about this. Um, I don't remember what I was telling you. Oh, yes. I get questions about did I film the trip and um, I did and um, but it seems like it was so long ago that I haven't had I haven't had any time to edit any of the footage that I got of my trip and so it's still on my camera but I was like you know now it just seems too late you know I've been here for a week you know to show you my flight there so but then what I was thinking is maybe I'll do a comp compilation is that is that how we say that word of uh, of my trip at the end that's the least of my worries right now but I do appreciate those of you who tell me that you miss my videos I mean I just it blows my mind you know I follow a few youtubers that, that I kind of feel like that it's like I get attached to things so I'm thinking any of you out there who have gotten attached to me in some way um, you know I'm just thinking maybe you can relate in some way and and that maybe it helps you the the ones that I follow that's the reason I follow them because I can relate to them and it helps me to to see that I'm not I'm not the only one so if my videos help you I just appreciate the feedback and for the rest of you out there who are watching just because you like to watch a train wreck well <laughs> that's okay too I'll take the views any way I can get them all right are we gonna get through this? We will. I'm gonna get home, hope the scanner's working. Skylar is welcome to do the scanning with me. I've already got that planned. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this, for helping me, even though you don't know that you're helping me, you are. I absolutely appreciate it. I don't even have family that I can talk to like this. I would feel like an idiot crying in front of my own blood, but yet I'm totally okay with doing it with my online family, so thank you.